So we just came from the other side of the uh, construction site where we measured some control. Yep. But I did want to point out some more innovation with this GS18T. Because it's not actually a GS18T, it's a GS18I because it has the camera. Yeah, that was looking at the camera earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So with the camera and the tilt sensor, and the IMU tilt sensor inside of the uh, unit, what we can do is do photogrammetry on the fly. Right? And the nice part about that is it allows us to measure things that we can't physically touch with the GPS. Right? Okay. We see it used in a lot of different ways. We see it used to kind of measure things under overhangs or facades or anything that the GNSS, you can't measure physically with the GNSS. Sure, yeah. But we're here on this active job site and there's a stockpile behind us. Yep. So what we're going to do is we're going to go over there and we're going to measure the stockpile and, and be able to, uh, with photogrammetry in under 60 seconds, and be able to kind of then, with another innovative feature that we have, Hexagon GeoCloud Drive, we're going to be able to post, uh, make this accessible back in the office instantly. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So let's go measure the stockpile. Yeah, let's do it. So he, here we are with the stockpile, and he, as you can see, it's pretty irregular. So it's going to be very good to be able to use GSA uh, photogrammetry for the stockpile. So we just have to come to this GS imaging, and we're going to select capture image group. All right. What we're going to have is our image group name pop up. And again, it, it just gets pre-populated by, by what the previous image group was called. And now we just, all we need to do is we need to keep the stockpile in frame, right? So we're keeping it in frame. We just have to hit start and we can start going. So I'm gonna let you do it, okay? Oh, I get to it's do just it? just that simple. All right. So just hit start. Hit start and you start walking. And again, just a standard, normal walking pace, and keeping it in frame is all we really need to do. And again, this would be very hard to uh, measure with kind of a manual process, but using photogrammetry makes it really simple because we get all the detail. And again, we can do this with uh, out having to pull the total station out and we get really, really accurate results. That's it, we just walk around. Just walk around, yeah, Keep it's the just camera that simple. On it. Keep the camera on it and away you go. All right. All you have to do when you get to the end here, you just have to hit stop and it'll start to process the images. Okay. Again, what it's doing here is it's actually um, um, bundle adjusting. Again, that's something that's pretty technical, but it's bundle adjusting the images. And the nice part about that, if we were doing some hardscape with this type of imagery, mm -hmm. we could measure between them out in the field. And that is a really big benefit if we had to you know, measure between objects that are under an overhang or something like that. But this here, again, we're not gonna really have to measure uh, out in the field uh, during these images. We're sending them back to, or, or making them accessible in the office. For, for use there to do photogrammetry there, All right? So it's optimizing, and after this is done, we'll be able to store it and and make it accessible. There you go. So let's just store. Store. And now this photo, or this, they call it an image group, is now gonna be available um, on the controller, and we'll make it then accessible with Hexagon GeoCode Drive to anybody in the office. There you go. Yep. So we're stored here. We're just going to back out and we're going to go to our Hexacom GeoCloud Drive. And this really is a, a nice, easy way to be able to share data and connect data between everybody associated with the project. Remember earlier when we were out on site measuring the uh, stockpile with the GS89? Yeah, when you had me hold the, uh, the pole up. Yep, yep. Yeah. Um, we made all that data accessible through Hexagon GeoCloud Drive. Right, so, yeah. Yep, so it got, uh, it's now accessible in the office or was accessible in the office directly from the field. So what we're gonna do now is import that data into Leica Infinity. It's our uh, uh, Leica's geospatial uh, processing office software for measurement professionals. So what we're gonna do is import this data and we're gonna uh, uh, do a little bit of processing. So right. we're gonna come here to import and GeoCloud Drive is uh, directly accessible on our as a folder inside of our uh, Windows Explorer. So I can come here and I can just navigate to where we 
made that file accessible. And we just have to import. Okay. All right. So here are those images that we took out in the field. So th these came from the GNSS. Yeah, directly from the GS18i. So what we have here is we have have all of the images that were taken. There's there are two images that are taken per second, and it allows us with kind of standard walking paces as you did out in the field, allowed that overlap that we need to get real uh, and kind of good photogrammetric results in the office. Okay. Okay. So these were sent back to the office, and they could have been processed, you know, just minutes after they were sent back. Right? These get imported in, and now we can come into our imaging tab, and we can start to uh, run through the processing. All we need to do is select our image group, which is available here, and we just have to hit Create Dense Point Cloud. Right? That's what we're looking for for the stockpile as a, as a point cloud to be able to do our stockpile calculations. And it's just about trying to um, uh, make it as easy as it can for, the, for you uh, to be able to get those calculations. So I'm going to select Dense Point Cloud and we're going to start processing. I'm just going to go to the imaging tab and we're going to see that there's a A pro progress bar. Again, even with my uh, very underpowered la uh, laptop, it's still just a minute or two is the processing time required to get a kind of a standard uh, stockpile uh, point cloud uh, from the field. And with uh, maybe desktops, it'd probably be a little faster? Well, yeah. Well, if you have a, a more powerful desktop, it'd be, again, much faster. Great. So how does the, uh, how does it know where the even if you're you're holding the GNSS uh, mm -hmm. above the ground, how does it know where it is? Well, all of the uh, calculations go to the photo center, so mm -hmm. there's an offset inside from the antenna uh, GNSS antenna reference mm -hmm. up to the photo center of the um, camera. So all of that is all built in. You don't even have to think about it. It just you know it's all been built in to make it easy for the end user. It really is just you know press the button out in the field, create those image capture groups, and then and then away you go. Okay. So we're progressing here. It's going to be available any second now. Oh. Yeah. So just like that, it's been uh, uh, processed. We do have to store this, so we're just going to store it, and then we're going to be able to view this stockpile in our 3D visualization. So we do have a 3D viewer here, so we can see everything that we uh, would see at, that's measured out in the field. Again, this uh, project, we were just measuring the stockpile, so we're just seeing that, but it's really, really easy to get our, our volume calculation, right? I'm just gonna turn off the images for the time being, so we can get a better view of that. And to get the um, volume calculation, I'm just going to select or kind of uh, select this uh, point cloud here. A quick little lasso around it. I have my surfaces option. I'm just going to create a nice 2.5D surface. Surface is created. Okay, so you're just sort of isolating the stockpile. Now that we have this, what we can end up doing is just run our uh, stockpile calculation. Cool. So I'll hit stockpile here. Hit calculate, and I get my stockpile volume. Just okay? like that. Just like that. And again, we have the option here for doing a report. So I can select the report. I have the report here, and again, if this is required out in the field to be able to make some decisions um, uh, or be able to be given to a contractor to kind of confirm some information out in the field, we can do that, you know, directly. So I can just hit save, and I can post this back up onto GeoCloud Drive so that this is now accessible to anybody that's associated with this project. So within a few minutes, I mean, it took me less than 60 seconds to walk that stockpile, send it to the office, someone can work on that, process it, and send it back. 
Yep, just that fast. Yeah, just that fast. It's just about uh, um, being able to be more efficient in collaborating with people uh, in the office and in the field or, or anybody around the country. Um, it's just about being able to share that information. Oh, that's great. Yeah.